former Republican Senator Judd Gregg is on the line with us. Uh, Senator Gregg, thank you. I, I wonder your thoughts in this extraordinary historical moment. Well, I guess you can call it historical. I would call it disgusting, unacceptable, inexcusable, and a destruction arbitrarily by a leader of our constitutional process. And it's obviously incredibly discouraging to all Americans, I suspect, with the exception of the those who are foolish enough to be participating in this event. Uh, and it comes down to leadership. I mean, what you've seen over the last few weeks and the attempts to denigrate an electoral process, which was carried forward, it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to maybe or other people wanted it to, but it, it was our election and it was held and it was held fairly. Uh, all the states have a right to hold their elections as they uh, proceed forward, and the, the, to the extent there were issues about their honesty or correctness, uh, they've been challenged in court, and they, those challenges have not been held up. And so uh, now you've got this group of senators, unfortunately, and the president and the vice president, in fact, who have basically said, oh, well, we don't accept the electoral college process We're, because we don't think that it's fair and we don't think it, it adequately addresses uh, the fact that we think we won the election, which is absurd on its face. Uh, but the electoral process, the, having the electors meet and having them vote the, in the president of the United States has been occurring in this country for century. And the simple fact is that that's the way our constitutional process works. And the fact that members of my own party have tried to undermine that process and undermine the rule of law and in the process undermine the Constitution is, I think, just reprehensible at the highest level. And, of course, the president's language today uh, incited these folks who, uh, you know, some of them I'm sure are there honestly wanting to protest, but obviously a lot of them are there simply because they want violence. And uh, he knew that, and the people around him knew that, and they incited it. And, uh, well, he, and, and Senator, terrible. E even as it continued... And the, the Capitol was occupied and under siege by his own supporters who had come to hear him. He did not step forward. He did not order the National Guard. The vice president did it, according to the report of the New York Times. He still has not spoken, and his most recent utterances are in effect to egg it on. Senator Judd Gregg, along the way, Republicans have, have shut up and stood by. Is it time for this president to be pushed aside? Well, I happen to think I wasn't one of the ones who was quiet about his presidency for a long time. I Obviously, saying he's denigrated the office of the presidency and undermined our character as a nation and, and harmed us internationally with our alliances. But, you know, he's got 20 days left or less than 20 days now uh, left in his term. Uh, it's over for him as a, as a sitting president. And th now he leaves the, the office in total disgrace. Uh, you would think he'd be embarrassed about it. Uh, I don't think he's capable of being embarrassed, I'm afraid. Uh, but he should be embarrassed. And what's more embarrassing is the failure of leadership on both sides of the aisle to disavow violence as an element of our political process. You look at what happened in Seattle. You look at what happened in, in Portland. And now you look at what's happening, which is even worse in Washington because you essentially had the center of government being invaded. Uh, and it's just not correct that both sides of the aisle haven't said, this is wrong, this can't stand, we have to put an end to it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.